Okay, uh, let's see one IGCC pass paper question. A plane whose speed in still air is 240 km per hour flies directly from A to B, where B is 500 km from A on the bearing of 32 degrees true, true bearing. There is a constant wind of 50 km per hour blowing from west. Find the bearing on which the plane is steered and find to the nearest minute the time taken for the flight. So here, what are the informations given? The first one is the speed of the plane, the air, that we can write uh, velocity of the plane with respect to the wind that is 240 km per hour and the velocity of the wind also given that is 50 km per hour the distance from A to B is 500 and it makes the bearing of 32 degrees so let's take this is the north line And uh, the flight is moving from A and A to B the distance is given which is 500 the distance is 500 and this represents the velocity of the plane that is VP given W which is 240 And the wind is this way from west, which is 50 kilometers per hour. All right. So now this bearing is given. The total bearing is 32 degrees. The total bearing is 32 degrees. If it's, if you, if you make a north line over here. From north line to this angle is 32 degrees. So from this north line to this, the same line would be 32 degrees. This also would be 32. Since this is from west, the full angle is 90. 90 minus 32 has to be 58 degrees. So we found one this angle. And we know the full angle. Now we got a small triangle, non right angle triangle. Here you know this side is 240. It's like this. You have this is 58. 240. 50. Now these all representing the speed. So this if you find this represent the velocity of the aircraft velocity of the plane the true velocity of the plane you will get let's do the calculation first uh, let's try to find this angle alpha The whole angle is 32 degrees and we have to find the small angle. Can you sign rule here? Sign alpha by 50 is equal to sine 58 upon 240 which gives alpha equal to 10.2. So we got alpha is 10.2 
from the total bearing that is 32 minus 10.2 which gives 21.8 degrees has to be the bearing here where the the bearing on which the plane is stayed. So this angle is 21.8. Now also we can find the velocity, the true velocity of the aeroplane. Actually the velocity with respect to the wind is 240 and the wind is moving, the wind is blowing at uh, 50 km per hour. So what would be the true velocity of the plane? So that represents this length AB. How we can find, you can use cosine rule to calculate it. From this triangle, you can work V square is 240 square plus 50 square minus 2 into 240 into 50 into so we use 2 240 square 50 and you need to find this angle this angle is nothing but 180 minus 58 minus alpha right so you can write uh, cos of 180 minus 58 minus alpha alpha is 10.2 on substituting the values you can get V is 263 that is the true velocity of the plane is this kilometers per hour now the distance between A and B is 500 given so given the question distance between A and B is 500 kilometers and we have the speed also so the time taken can be ca easily calculated time taken from a to b is distance upon speed distance is 500 upon speed is 263 which gives 114 minutes which is 1 hour and 54 minutes right so it is important to understand clearly how to sketch how to make the diagram for it 